today I want to work with Silas a little bit on his recall. He actually is doing really, really well with the come command. It's, it's, I barely need to work on it at this point, but it's always good. Whenever I take him out off leash, uh, I try to bring some treats with me, and I still like to practice so that it is not just something he did, uh, I guess, incidentally, because uh, he felt like coming over, but I want him to actually try to get distracted and then uh, break that distraction when he hears that his name and, and the come command. So he comes running, even when he's you know, chasing something, uh, distracted by somebody else. I don't really have a lot of distractions here at the moment. But I'm gonna let him walk a bit away. And then the way we work with any command is, you know, it's like talking to a guy. <laughs> you, you gotta get their attention first before giving them the instructions. If they aren't looking at you, they're probably not really listening. So, uh, I'm gonna wait till Silas wanders away a little bit. He's just out exploring. I have in my pocket some leftover turkey bits from uh, Thanksgiving. And yeah, we're gonna let him go potty first. And uh, you know, so I'm gonna show you just how we do it when we work on the come command. So I like to let him run off leash, help him go potty, and then he'll be ready to work here. Uh, now he's running around. I'm gonna hopefully let him, I'm just gonna take a walk. I'm sure any moment now he will just kind of wander off a little bit although he really tends to stick close so it's it's almost hard to get him distracted but i want him to just be you know at least 50 even 100 feet away from me is the goal and i'm gonna try to call his name to get his attention and then i'm going to give the command i don't give the command until i have his attention if he's not looking at me i'm not going to bother giving the command i may have to make a little noise Make a little whistle sound, something like that. Something to get him to look at you. Then when you focus, then the command can be received. Uh, you know, like humans. If they're distracted, they, they don't necessarily hear you. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna see. He'll take a little wander. Maybe I'll just start walking a different direction. He smells the turkey in my hands, so he's probably not interested in leaving. I wish I could get him to be distracted, but he's really, he's so good that, like, uh, I'd have to get somebody else out here to add a distraction. <laughs> but if it's just you and him, he just wants to follow you around. He's really great about staying on the left side, too. He's, he's got that sort of generalized now, or kind of conditioned in that that is like the right place to walk when we walk on a leash we keep him on the left so he's got really he's already got a pretty good heel uh off leash too so stand here and i'm just gonna let him walk away and i'm gonna act like i'm not interested or focus on him at all this is very very typical for silas he just loves to sit and wait for the next thing. He's really a gentle boy. He's very nice, very food motivated. So he's easy to work with. Uh, he's special. He is a special dog. There's no doubt about it. He's very, very nice. And uh, let's we'll see what we can do here. Are you gonna go? Okay, let's go. <laughs> I should have got a ball out and tossed it. I'm like, okay, that. Come on, Silas. Let's go. Let's go. Boy, I could not even get him to not follow me. <laughs> yeah. Once he tastes a bit of a treat, I mean, really nice to stick with me because. Uh, Silas, come. Good boy. Good boy. The key is to give those treats as soon as they do the command. So as soon as they come to you, stick that treat right in his mouth. Have it ready. It's going to help reinforce what the actual command was. But the more you try to use that command in just different places while doing different experiences, we'll see here. I was getting distracted. Perfect. Okay, I'm gonna call his name. Silas, come! 
Yes, good boy. High pitched, excited praise using a marker word like yes. Yeah, it really helps. It really helps him understand what is the correct thing that he just did. So let's see if we can get distracted again here. I'm just going to wander. Okay, you know what he does? It's kind of like the on some sticks. So Throw this random stick here. Silas, go get it. Oh, yeah, he almost had it. He almost had it. I'd be a little bit better with a tennis ball. Ready? 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 Go get it. Well, close. Close, buddy. You were close. <laughs> ah, we'll play. Practice like stretch a bit for the tennis balls. He does like to chew on sticks. Sometimes we're walking, he just picks up a stick and he'll walk with it for a while. It's pretty cute. But he is just. He's got it so conditioned now that, you know, pretty much you don't get anything until you're under control and you sit. He will just, you know, automatically sit just anytime you pretty much look at him and you want him. So his attention. Sure, I mean. Silas, come. Didn't have to tell him. I didn't give him a hand signal or the verbal command for sit. He just knows that it comes so often that he will naturally just come over to you, look at you, sit down, and and sort of get a little antsy and just keep scooting his butt a little bit and keep on sitting more because he knows that uh, he gets rewarded when he's under control, being relaxed. Uh, really, really nice. And we have had Silas in the house quite a bit, which I have some uh, quite a few fit, uh, clips here. Uh, we are getting Silas a little more freedom in the house now. He's not totally free in the house. He's in a kennel whenever we can't watch him. But he is uh, exploring our house, hanging out with our kids. And he's, he's really great with the kids. My kids, of course, are young. Youngest being two, oldest being nine, and I have four of them. Uh, so he's good and gentle with the kids, not overwhelming. And uh, all my kids like him. So we're pretty excited to have him in the house. Uh, work on crate training, work on house breaking, understanding that there's certain things in the house that have rules that he can't chew on. Uh, but he's doing really good. He's doing really good so far. He doesn't seem to be an excessive chewer. He does like to have a chew toy and things like that. He did try to pick up a stuffed animal the other day, just told him no, dropped it, and he was good about it. All right, Silas. And what I really need here is a hands-free way to record a video, which uh, I did just get a nice gimbal the other day, which I'm excited for it to arrive and hook that up. Another video I almost feel like I need a drone to follow me around when I make some of these videos. Okay, he's distracted. Silas, come. Good boy. Yes. And the treat happens immediately. Good boy. Uh -uh. Silas, sit. Yes, it's very tough to hook up a leash and video at the same time. Okay, now. So I'm going to show look at him a little bit on leash which around here we're able to do so much off leash time that we really have to uh, be very purposeful about getting the dogs used to uh, being on a leash but one of the things is we want to be able to get his attention and focus uh, with treats we do not want him to pull on the leash it is natural for a dog to want to just go explore chase after whatever they want they don't think to themselves that they have a leash on, therefore they don't pull. They need to be reminded and told. Just like we want them to sit, we want them to look at us, uh, we want them to come. We're trying to get their attention and do something. Same with walking on a leash. 
he's got great focus. I mean, really, really nice. So I got the leash short, kind of wound it around my hand here, although usually I hold it, uh, the slack in my right hand, and then the rest of it in my left, and I can adjust the length of the leash, which I'll have to show in a different video. But typically that's how I would walk a dog, so that I can uh, give some corrections, pull them in a little bit closer, and I can easily direct them away from my legs if they're getting too close to me. Um, but the goal with leash walking is it should be a nice loose leash. Uh, at first, that's not going to be typical. It's going to take some time to get to that. But uh, the biggest mistake people make is the, even with our trained dogs, is they get a dog and they think he's just going to know that he has a leash on. And they just, they just don't quite generalize that well. When they get a little bit older and the more it's conditioned in, they'll start to do this. But a lot of people, once they start tugging, what they do is they pull back on the leash and they use it as if it's the brakes like a car and they think it's going to slow the dog down but it's sort of instinct for the dog it tells them to speed up and pull harder think of it like a sled dog um, you know they get those harnesses on and they just think i should be pulling if there's something hooked onto me so their natural tendency is actually to pull uh, when they have a leash on but the key is keep some treats handy and uh, I'm going to take a little tiny piece out of my pocket here. He's just really, really good and well-behaved. I'm going to take a little piece out of my pocket and keep it handy. And it's what he's going to sniff as we are walking. I'm going to hold it kind of like near my knee. If I have to get his attention, I'll let him sniff it. If he's being a good boy, I'm going to go ahead and just give a little bit to the treat as we're walking. But the idea is I want him to look at me. I'm going to change directions a few times. And I'm not going to really give much of a command. I just, I just start going. I'll say, okay, let's go, Silas. Let's go, Silas. So we use the easy command a lot of times uh, when they're pulling on a leash. It just gets their attention. It gets them to slow down. We actually uh, do a certain routine to get them to respond to that word. But for now, I just want to show you what he's like. So he's got a total loose leash, and they, he was hitting the end of the leash. So I'm not yanking him back. I just simply stopped. Stopped everything I'm doing. I'm not just trying to keep tension and walk. I want to stop. Good boy. Yes. Okay, let's go. And I want to get him used to walking just right next to me. And how we condition this is we change directions without giving him a warning. Because the idea is he walks slightly behind us. We're not letting him walk us around. I mean, right now I am, but the goal is they need to anticipate when we're about to change directions. And if they're pulling and they want to go somewhere, I get their attention verbally. I'm not pulling him back. I'm just something like a post. I'm just not moving. Silas, this way. Yes. So we're going to change directions. We're going to go this way. And this is a little drill you can do, even just before a walk. Ah, 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 easy. I take him back. He's looking at me. Okay, good boy. I want to keep it right here. I'm going to use him. I'm going to get my little treat near his nose. So he, oh, he got the sniff. I want to keep it near me. This is where I want him to walk. He's got a loose leash right now. He's doing very good. I'm going to change directions. Silas, this way. That leash was loose the entire time when we turned around. I did not just yank him to direct him. The goal is to get verbal attention. Uh, or verbally get his attention so that he'll walk with you. He's really he's a champ on a leash, but... If I didn't do this little drill right here where I've just gone back and forth a few times, he probably would still be pulling, actually. Uh, he doesn't always know that just because he has a leash, that means don't pull. So, he's being really good. I'm going to get on the head a little pipe. Where is Silas? Look. Sniff it, sniff it. Silas, this way. Good. Yes. Good job. I want to keep half of it. Good job, buddy. He is a champ on a leash. Uh, nice loose leash. It's just dangling here. He's great. He's, he's just really good. He's at a great place right now. I think in a month, a little over. I mean, he's going to be just rock solid in his obedience. So we got a few other commands and aspects we're still working on. But, uh, you know, he's good. I'm really happy. I want his stays to be a little stronger with more distance. And I'll be working on his place command a little bit uh, more strongly over the next few weeks. And... I am actually going to take him to a little uh, Christmas party later today. Have him hang out in a building with some other people. He'll probably be a great boy, as if he's just like a little service dog hanging out with me. And that's the goal here. I want to be very well behaved in public, where there's lots of distractions. So over the next month, we're going to work on uh, some of that as well. So he's extremely well behaved and conditioned. This way, yes, this is great. I mean, I'm really, really happy with his level of leash walking skills right now. 
This will change with high distractions. If a dog ran by right now, he would get excited and distracted. That's normal. Uh, we're gonna work on that impulse control. Those are all things that we're gonna you know, sort of finish up on in the coming weeks, over the next month. And uh, I'm really excited. He is a, he is a great boy. I uh, am actually really excited about him and his training. He's great with the kids. He's a nice, gentle boy. He's actually pretty relaxed in the house. But he does have a lot of fun, playful energy, too, to, uh, you know, not be boring. Uh, some dogs are just total slugs, and sometimes that's exactly what people want. He is not a slug, but he has a great off switch. He's just, uh, just, just really nice in the house, actually. He's almost a little bit lower energy than my dog, Olive, and she's a really low energy dog when it comes to just hanging out in the house. He's good. This leash has just been totally loose the whole time. And uh, my fingers are starting to freeze. So I think I'm gonna let him have this little chew toy. Little huff that my dog left out here. Good boy, yeah, you can have on that. And then uh, we'll resume later. We'll make some more videos later. Good boy, Silas.